that tone, we want to welcome you to a brand new gospel cast for this week. My name is Ty, and I'll be your host on this week. Gospel cast continues right after this. Okay, let's get it all started today. Uh, we're starting a new series that we call Thy Kingdom Come. And it's interesting because uh, we, we hear it often. In the last prayer, you will say, Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Excuse me. Now, when John the Baptist came, he said, I'm preaching, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So, what exactly is the kingdom of God? What exactly is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is God's royal power, his kingdom, his kingship, his dominion, his rule. Now, but you see, it's it, now you understand why the Bible interchanges the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. It's just to keep you reminded that this kingdom is not here. Jesus said when well, he was praying in the book of John, chapter 17, he was talking to God about I say that they are in this world, we are not of this world. When Jesus talked about the, the, the Satan as the prince of this earth, he, he said that he doesn't have any part in me so you got to understand that because jesus belongs to a new kingdom when he stood before Pilate, he said to Pilate, if my kingdom was of this world i will send i'll tell my father and he will send angels and they will fight for me but my kingdom is not of this world i came here to fulfill a purpose for this reason was i born he came to fulfill a purpose so he, he knew the power and the rights in the kingdom so but he wanted us to know that too because he started teaching the kingdom of heaven is like this the kingdom of heaven is like this. the kingdom of god is like this. the kingdom of god is like this. he wants us to know what the kingdom of god is and it's important because in the last prayer according to the account of matthew in matthew chapter 6 from verse 9 he said that our father which art in heaven hallowed be the name thy kingdom come and it's important because it's at the beginning side of this uh, the last prayer and also at the end in part at where he said for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory it's important that you understand that we're going to go into it this week and we're going to expose a whole lot of things about the kingdom of god but one of the things that we want to understand is that for the kingdom of god to come here you have a part to play in book of luke now now watch this now in book of luke chapter 11 where we'll be dealing with today now look at we're going to look at verse verse 20 luke 11 verse 20 but if i with the finger of god cast out devils no doubt, no doubt, the kingdom of God is come upon you. The kingdom of God is come upon you. So the question we have for you today is, has the kingdom of God come upon you? Has the kingdom of God... Now look at the next thing Jesus said, when a strong man is... When a strong man armed, keep at his place, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he cometh upon him and overcome him, he take it from him all his armor, wherein he trusted and divided his spoil. He that is against me is not okay. Let me not let me leave that. Now, but what he started saying here immediately, he was saying about the kingdom of God coming upon us he started telling us that there is already a kingdom of this world in revelation chapter 11 the bible talk about that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our god now there is already a kingdom happening here so now look at what the kingdom of god implies here what it means is let it not be confused with an actual kingdom that is already existing here the king rather the right authority to rule over a kingdom so there is a strong man the devil has been cast out from devil and from heaven sorry and and has been thrown down on earth and he's running some things on earth but when jesus came to redeem us he also gave us the power he also brought us into a kingdom that is in heaven but have an extension to be brought down on earth so that the will of god can be done on earth as it is done in heaven so now what it implies is that you're going to face a strong man that is armed to the teeth and you're going to by the power of this kingdom by the principles of this kingdom by the riches and resources of this kingdom you're going to disarm him in your area or the area you want to take over and then you're going to take the spoils around him and enjoy because you have a stronger power you have a stronger armor or tools to fight the strong man so you got to understand this and that is where we're going to go in today which part do you have to play the kingdom of come he started when john started preaching uh, prepare the kingdom uh, pre repent for the kingdom of god is at hand when the spirit was given the work on earth uh, of kingdom of, of god on earth started 
And Jesus told them, wait until you are endued with power for you to be more witnesses. So it has, it has come. But the question is that the things it answers is that we're going to understand a little bit more why the will of God is not happening the way it should happen in our life, even when the kingdom has come, because there is a part we must play for this kingdom, for this reign, the rulership of God to be extended and ex- established in our life and in our daily living. God bless you as you stay with us on this series. I'll see you tomorrow.